every day, one by one, I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Ruth and welcome to the 191st day of my challenge, which is, oh my goodness, so exciting because cannot believe it. I sat down to calm down for like 10 minutes, but it's not helping because <laughs> look what I got. I feel like I'm the last person of this on this earth to receive this book because I pre-ordered it. When you could get the signed book plate, that was the time when I pre-ordered it. Not ordered, pre-ordered. And it's just now that I'm getting it, but Oh my god, I just want to kind of pet it. I want to start reading it. I want to start trying out recipes. Oh my god, this book. I, if you told me like a year ago, or maybe a little bit more, that I will be as excited about a cookbook, I would have laughed. Honestly, I would have never believed that I will cook. So, I just, I don't know, today is a really, really exciting day for me because I'm really, really happy about receiving the book and also because this episode will be kinda a special one because I'm actually, and I even wrote it down because no way could I remember this name. This episode is inspired by one of you, namely Wong Fai Hong 1847. <laughs> I don't know, but you definitely know who you are because you actually, actually challenged me to try out today's recipe, which is Eggs Benedict. So I know it's a little bit late, uh, but I am trying lots and lots of recipes. So I really hope that you will not be disappointed and uh, as well as all the rest of you, because I feel like today will be kind of like in the movie, which was one of the inspirations for me to start this challenge in the first place together with Laura's recipes. That is Julie and Julia. I so remember that scene when she was trying to make eggs Benedict or just pouch an egg. And I don't know, someone will be in a movie today. <laughs> so before we go into the ingredients, I want to mention a couple of them. Okay, the first one is the English muffins. Now, I actually started preparing for this recipe yesterday when I made them, uh, but I feel like the flour I used was a little bit different. Well, I don't feel like, I'm like 100% sure, certain that Laura used some different kind of flour because her English muffins and from all the pictures I saw, actually, English muffins have, have to be white. Mine are darker. But nevertheless, flour question aside, I will use my own homemade English muffins. So if you missed the previous video, I will leave the link to it in the description box down below just because well, you'll need some English muffins for this recipe. Then the Canadian bacon. When I read it, I was like, oh my God, I will not find such a thing. Like, what is that Canadian bacon? But when I Googled it, it turns out it's kind of like just ham. So when I went to shop, I was just looking for a circular, yummy looking ham. So that's what I'm gonna use today and I'll just call it Canadian bacon, why not? And another, the last one, I promise, um, ingredient which I had kind of questions about was the distilled white vinegar. What? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but from what I've read, I feel like it's this the simplest kind of vinegar, just like white, simple, simple vinegar, not wine vinegar or something like that, but just like simple, simple one. So I don't know. I found some in my mom's pantry, so that's what I'm gonna use today. I feel like I have quite a lot of questions uh, about the validity of the ingredients I'm using today, but nevertheless, someone will pouch an egg today. So let's go over the ingredients and let's get started. We're gonna need, for the hollandaise sauce, two egg yolks, 70 grams of butter, melted, one and a half teaspoon of lemon juice, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and salt. And for the remaining recipe, we're gonna need two English muffins, split, 
4 eggs, 4 slices of Canadian bacon, 15 grams of butter, 1 teaspoon of distilled white vinegar, and salt. Okay, so I'll start with the hollandaise sauce. And first of all, you want to find such a pair. That is a glass bowl, which would sit very nicely on top of a small pot or a saucepan, but wouldn't touch the bottom, just like sit kind of nicely like so. So I feel like this is the pair for me. So this will be the pair to make the sauce. So I'll start by mixing egg yolks with the lemon juice together for Laura says a few minutes and whenever she says that, I consider it three minutes. I'm waiting for the egg yolks to become pale. Okay, three minutes have passed, but I don't feel like they're pale enough. Maybe I'll mix for another minute. Okay, <laughs> I mixed two more minutes just to be on a safer side. So I mixed in total for five minutes now. No one will be able to accuse me of not mixing my hollandaise sauce enough. Okay, now I will fill this pot about two, two and a half centimeters up with water and bring it to a simmer and I will meet you near the stove. And here's how a hollandaise sauce will be born. You want your water to be simmering on low heat because at no point do you want the water to actually touch the glass bowl because I will put the glass bowl on top of this pot and then from that moment forward, I will start whisking and will never stop. So I will be whisking and streaming in the melted butter a little bit at a time. And then once all the butter is in, I will continue whisking and I will continue cooking for, again, Laura uses a magical word, a few minutes. So I will start with three and we'll see uh, where we get, go from there. I will wait or the sauce to thicken up. Okay, there's definitely something wrong with my hollandaise sauce. First, I thought it's too thick. Now, as I mixed it, it's kind of, I don't know, split. Did I scramble the eggs? Should I have done that? I don't know, should I? Should I remake this? Will it be tasty? I'm like lost now. What do I do? Should I just mix more? Will it help? I will try mixing more. Okay, I don't know. I feel like I might have overcooked it maybe. Will it be still tasty? Should I remake it? I'm like lost. What do I do? I feel like it was right at one point and then I overcooked it. I should have cooked definitely two minutes. You know what? I will try go and cook it a little bit more and if it doesn't work, I think I should redo it because it doesn't look right. Okay, don't think that's going to happen with this one. Okay, let me redo it. I think I nailed it this time and now I get what she said about the figure eight. Look, ah, it's hot a bit. Okay, I'm going to show you like this. So, when it's the right consistency, you can make a figure eight like so, you get it? Man, you have to fail like once before you get it, don't you? These ones do look different, don't they? Okay, so now I will season it a little bit with salt, add the cayenne pepper, mix it in, and the sauce will be done.
Okay, I'm back by the stove, which basically means that I will eat in like three minutes. No joke. But before that, I feel like I will talk for as long because this, my friends, is a setting for multitasking, which I'm not really great at, so I feel like I should tell you what I'm gonna do as I might be a little bit too stressed out to tell you while I'm doing it. So I will start, I will try to do that as quick as possible. So here is a skillet for toasting the English muffins and the ham. First of all, I will preheat it over medium heat, then add the butter, melt it, and start by toasting the English muffins. I will toast two, for now I will make the rest later so i will put them cut side down and i will toast only that cut side um, then i will remove them and add the bacon what was that canadian bacon the ham anyways so i will put it and toast it from both sides now laura doesn't really mention the times so i will be sure to check how long it takes me and add into the written recipe in the description box down below so this will be all for toasting and once that's done I will just remove everything and that will be all for this skillet now here it should be also a skillet a large about 30 centimeters in diameter skillet with high sides which I don't really have so I'm using a pot instead which I filled halfway up with water and I'm bringing it to a boil once it's boiling though, I will reduce the heat because I want this boiling to be slow, like no vigorous bubbles or anything. Uh, and then I'm gonna add the vinegar there. Uh, then I will not do the poaching like directly to water because I would definitely burn my fingers. I will crack each egg into, well, into this separate bowl and then I will make a whirlpool in the water by mixing it with a spoon or something like a few times to the same direction and then just drop it into the very middle and cook it for three minutes and once they're done I will remove them with a slotted spoon and put to a paper towel lined plate to absorb excess water but that will be all I'm telling you I'm talking as long as I will do all of this Oh my goodness, this smells amazing! I cannot wait to try it! So before starting to assemble, I want to thin out my sauce a little bit just because while standing it kind of set and got thicker. So I will be adding this warm water. Uh, you can actually use the one you were cooking the sauce with, but I forgot got stressed out and got rid of that. So here I just have some warm water, which I will be adding one teaspoon at a time, uh, mixing it in until I reach the consistency I know I want, which now I know what it should be. <laughs> Okay, here it is. So, here's how it's going to go. I will take one English muffin, I will top it with the ham, then with the egg, and then I will drizzle it with the hollandaise sauce, which, oh my goodness, I didn't fail from the second time. Oh, I forgot a little bit of, okay, that's too much a little bit of salt on the egg I have to sit down I don't know what it is about multitasking which makes me so stressed out but it's good that I told you before starting to cook everything and besides sorry about the mess behind it's the result of me being stressed out and in, in addition to that i really have to try it while it's warm oh my goodness oh my goodness it's ready laura said that eggs benedict are no and eggs benedict if the egg isn't ready i just failed once 
No one knows. No one knows. Oh my god, I'm so excited. My mouth is watering like crazy. This smell. I have so so much of everything around me. Okay. Let's see what this is. I've never tried this before, you know. Yeah. This is some um, advanced stuff, I feel like. I mean, I heard of X Benedict, but I've never ever tried in my life, so I had no idea. This sauce is so interesting. It's like sour. But there's some softness to it as well. I kind of just want to try it more and more. That's so cool. I could like sit here and eat the whole thing <laughs> in front of you. But I will not do that because I still have one more to assemble. And that will be my... Okay. By this time it's kind of an early dinner already. I was planning this for lunch, but this is an amazing recipe to impress someone. I mean, if I brought something like that to anyone for breakfast, I don't think anyone would not call me a cook. And by the way, I poached an egg today. Like, how cool is that? I never thought that I would ever try this in my life. Like, this is way too cool. I feel, okay, I failed a little bit, which I see the result there, but this is a cool recipe. I mean, I'm really impressed. Really, really impressed. And I feel like that's an accomplishment when you impress yourself. Like, that's way bigger than you impress someone because, like, you know of your capabilities. So, anyways, I'm, like, super impressed right now. And before it gets cold, I want to go back to eating that. So, I challenge you. Try this one. Let me know how you did. I bet now you won't fail with the hollandaise sauce, will ya? So, that's actually the idea for me making these videos. It's to share what could go wrong so that you would need to go through that and just you shouldn't make any mistakes and i have like something there <laughs> i'm thinking do you see it this egg sneaky egg <laughs> so if you will go and check the original recipe by laura there the master there shows all the mastery there because man when you look at her it kind of looks easy but it's not that hard, just you need to know for the sauce, take it off right at the point when you see it starting to thickening up because it will thicken so much more. And it's not that hard to poach an egg. I, I thought, I really thought that it will be a bit more complicated. Anyways, all in all, me here impressed. Good. Well done. <laughs> so I really hope, what was the name? Can you tell me your name, the person who challenged me to try this recipe? And by the way, if you have any recipes you would like me to try, please let me know. I'm always noting them down and I don't know when, but I will definitely come around to trying that. So I think that would be fun, whether you have some recipe you haven't tried because it looks too intimidating or this will totally get cold while I'm talking. Anyways, if you have any recipes you want me to try, let me know. And for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.